number one, you don't even talk. Which is totally cool, because you don't talk in Skyrim either. But, in Skyrim, they don't, like, show the face. So, it, it's just like, you, you got this blank stare on you. Alright, so, I just said that one this way. You got this, like, blank stare on your face. Like, what the fuck? In Skyrim, that doesn't happen, obviously, because it's first person, and it is third person. Which I never really play in third person, nor enter in conversations in third person. And, last... Well, not last, but another big major issue with this, which this game isn't trying to be, well, maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what they had in mind when they were creating this game, but Skyrim is a lot of the little things that are put together, like the fact that you, oh God, you fuck six. I wasn't even, I didn't even have my hand on the mouse. I wasn't even ready for this. Ooh, they just got the ass whooped. So... A lot of the thing, you know, little things like you can pick up a fork or a spoon or something and and take it home with you. And why the hell would you want a fork or a spoon? What do you, what the hell are you gonna do with that? Nothing. It doesn't matter though. It's there. Like there, it's just the little things. All these little things add up. And and um, I saw a review of Skyrim, and I'm not naming any names, but what the person said about it was honestly just stupid. Like, they were complaining about every... Because, like, it is true. Like, Skyrim isn't, like, has the perfect combat system. You know, people, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, say anything bad about the game. Because, you know, me personally, Skyrim lover. Like, I love the game, love Oblivion, love them all. But, like, you know, it's not like they perfect everything. And they don't try to. But they do so many little things well that it makes an amazing game. And, you know, people just, like... Well, this one person in particular, they just, like, hated it because it didn't have a perfect combat system or whatever. And, you know, I'm not trying to hate on this game because of, you know, little things or whatever. But, and if you notice, like, when you listen to a lot of the reviews and, like, you know, this game's getting a little better as I go. Yeah, just, like, different environments and such. But, um, it's just, like, when you listen to a lot of reviews, like, I used to do this a lot, like... And I said like, 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 I don't, like, I don't even know how many like times, but anyway, I'm going to get into conversation soon, so I'll finish my thought after this conversation. Wolf's won't work? Good. The gold's run low and my mother's not doing so well. To the Warden's Bridge it is. Alright, let's go to the Warden's Bridge. Hi, the one smack in the heart of Lord Corrine. Go north of here, then east, then south along the road. Or just give me a map marker, thanks. Anyway, so what I was saying is, like, a lot of these reviews on not just Skyrim or any game, really, they, like, they had kept me from buying games before these reviews that I was watching. So I just basically go up and right through there, alright. So a lot of these reviews that I've been watching, you know, along through the years of gaming and such, that you you watch this review and then they say all this stuff like if it doesn't get it such a good review from the particular reviewer or whatever they say a lot of stuff bad about the game and you know that that a lot of times persuades people not to buy the game or check it out ever and they're like oh this game must be total shit but you know a lot of these games aren't bad it's just they pick on like especially these major reviewers like Personally, like, you may like that IGN, and I, you know, whatever. And if you like them, that's cool with me. But, you know, just personally, I think they do pretty crappy reviews sometimes. Like, look, look at... And I'm also not hating on Call of Duty. I'm not even going to really give my opinion on the game. Except for the fact that I think it is the same crap every year. I still buy it. I still have bought it. I think I'm done buying it, but you know, if you look at IGN reviews, if if it has Call of Duty in the name, then it automatically gets a 9. And then games that I think are much better games and that, you know, deserve you know, people's time to check them out or whatever, at least give them a chance. They, you know, they shit on them so much that no one would ever buy them if they they listen to that review. So it's just like, oh, fuck. 
And I'm just totally rambling on about practically nothing. But, you know, oh great, another guy that I get to talk to and probably give me a quest. This game must be like 10,000 hours long. Looks like a nice cut of meat just fell into our laps. Welcome to the Traveler's Camp, Dove. So, I'm not a chick, dude. On by accident. Go on, ask. Ask to join our merry number. Uh... Oh, you're breaking my poor heart, Dove, just like Krill Gary. But I trust you'll come to regret your mistake. When such a time has reached you, see me again. I'll be right here. But feel free to explore the camp if you so like. Eh, let's join it. He seemed like he was going to be pissed, or like say, like, go fuck yourself if I tried to join. And you've come back to old Grimmy. They always do, they always do, so I says. Now... As to what you came for, fancy on joining the travels? Yes, sure. I thought by the look of you that you might. I have a good feeling about you. No, oh, thanks. Some feelings count less around here than they should. I'll send you to the camp's leader, Krill Gary. She'll get you on your way. Um, is this their camp? Oh, it's in there. I was going to say, Jesus, kind of a small camp. Well, so, you know, and the biggest thing is, like, check out, like, when I'm buying a game, I check out, like, so many reviews, I check out too many reviews, like, and I end up kind of spoiling some of the main things, like, because all the reviews show, like, the first, you know, bits of, bits of the game and stuff, but, is to check out the smaller reviewers, because honestly, they do... They don't, they kind of see the bigger picture a lot of times that, you know, the bigger companies, you know, and I'm not saying all the big companies are do this shitty or whatever, but they pick out all the little things that, and they make them seem bigger than they are, like a bigger issue than they actually are. So. Let's begin. He looks like the exact same guy I was talking to before with a different voice. Has been attacking caravans along this road. Our hunt starts from here to the fork in the road. Fan out and move quickly. Look for any clues, then gather at the fork. On my word, go. What is this a fucking raise? Don't just stare at your feet. Move. Dude, I'm moving you, Ooze. Ooze. Am I supposed to? Which one am I supposed to go to? Well, half cover the cracks in the stone are recent. All right. Faint blood stains mark the stone as well. Guess I'm supposed to check out all these for clues. And then the. Uh, and uh, I also find that, like, your friends that play the game or whatever, they honestly, if, you know, like when Rydan recommends, I'm not even reading this shit, fuck this. When Rydan recommends a game to me, I, I never like to admit it, but it's normally good. Like, he recommended Borderlands to me, and I put that off. Oh, God. What's going on? What happened? I missed it. Oh, she's been snatched. Sire. So am I still st supposed to check out this clue over here? The merchant's pack lies as if it had been thrown violently from the owner. Whatever food stuffs were... Uh, I've turned to rot. Alright. Guess I'm supposed to talk to this guy again. We've only just set out an already down one. Pathetic. Don't blame it on me. Anyone see anything? No sign of the attacker. <sighs> Moving on. Turn east and across the stream. Up to the steps of the old ruins. Go. Hireling Falmoric is dead. Whatever, whoever it was, got her. Let her lie for now. 
I want the rest of you to be prepared. Weapons out, eye sharp. 